You all know how much I love good food or any kind of food, really. <laughs> so when legendary Aussie chef Matt Moran invited my brothers and I to come on his show, The Kitchen Tales, well, we just jumped at the chance. I think <laughs> your mum told me that you hate Brussels sprouts. Yeah, because they're like, they, they, they came out grey and soft, like nothing like that. <laughs> you, you three, I could just, I could just imagine what you were like as kids. You're all, yeah. Yeah. Was he the aggressor? Yeah, all the time. I was yeah. not. Yeah, he did. He used yeah. to suffocate me underneath the doona every morning. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, it was oh, heavy. Yeah, you know what I used to find with bigger kids, older kids and bullies? is just whack them straight between the eyes. Oh, well, the bit, bigger the better and then they'll just leave you alone for the rest of your life. Look, I just want to do this, Carl. Because it's no, really, it it's really bugging me. Yeah, get in there. Get, get that in your neck. Doesn't look any good. Get that in your neck. <laughs> And all crunch. of a sudden, Brussels sprouts are back. Whoa, back. <laughs> all right. I was nervous. Anyway, the man himself, Matt, joins us now. Yeah. Morning to a big round of applause. Nice Matt to Moran. see you. <laughs> a real chef. Mm. Mm. I was very nervous. Matt, you were. Brussels yeah. sprouts. And uh, I was talking to Carl's mother about yeah. you know, what the... Jenny were, from the block. Jenny from yeah. the block and, and what they liked and what they didn't like. And mm. Brussels sprouts were, was one of them. So that's why I had to cook them. Yeah, well, right, my, my so you don't like him, do you? No. You know, it's like, what doesn't he like? You don't like Brussels sprouts, right, that's what we're going to well, make Tom's make. the farmer. Yeah. And, and that's what I really... And I'd never met Tom before, so I really wanted Tom on um, to hear about, you know, the almond milk and, you know, the mandalay and whatever else, and that's what I've made here. Um, but uh, I got the phone call back and said, well, Tom will only come on if his two brothers do too. So, <laughs> so you got stuck with him. So uh, this now makes more sense, because you know I got very upset by the idea that you invited Carl around for lunch before me. Um... But you had to. You were forced to, basically. It was against your will, is what I'm hearing, Matt. Well, you know, Brooke was on the first series. Yeah. Carl was on the second, and I've always just keep you saying... Got, well, you got to... I keep I'm the, not doing a third. No, no, no. no I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm just keeping the, uh, you know, the, the, the best ones for, uh, you know, when, when it comes on to Channel 9 as a TV series. Yes, well, it can come on Channel 9 and very easily done. And you've got to... When, you, when you're getting... Nice When say. you're pre-recording um, shows for a series, mm. you've got to make sure that host is going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just hedge our bets a little bit with that. <laughs> hey, look, you had the Stefan Opie We've never done anything together. Um, mm. And so it was, it was quite unique and also wonderful. My brother, Tom... Um, he, he works on the Monday Almond Farm, yeah. and, and they do this almond milk, which is which is the most delicious thing in the world. And I'm so proud of him. And which of the Stefanovics were the best? Was was the best on the day? <laughs> Carl, <laughs> that is a loaded question. What do you mean? <laughs> well, you know, a third each. You know. No, I'll, I'll put him in order for you. <laughs> yeah, here Tom's we go. Tom's my favourite. You work I love with Pete. Pete. You work with Pete. I love Pete. He's my second favourite. Oh right. And Down the bottom of the order. Yeah. You know what? They were actually fantastic together. And <laughs> yeah. it was funny because they're all niggling oh. each other on. Like, they're yeah. niggling me on massively. Yeah. Maybe go down to the cellar and get a nice bottle of wine. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did ask what though, what you were drinking. Yeah. Some rubbish. <laughs> Some Chinese rubbish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, um, this is a delicious so so almond milk that it yep. has this this wonderful quality. You can use it in cooking as well. Yep. yep. Um, and, and we're all about supporting Aussie farmers, aren't mm. we? Hundred percent. And uh, and that's why this. I wanted Tom in the first place, is because I know that he used to be in the TV as a as a camera guy, but uh, made that big change down to... Um, Here's a baby, could, here comes a choo-choo train. Just <laughs> saying, I could probably have done this myself. No, no. There you go. Has not quite that? set yet, yeah. but it's delicious, isn't Mate, it? It, it is set wow, because you know, you, lo you know that it's set if it doesn't sink. Right. Um, mm. <laughs> that's just me sort of, you know, yeah. covering up. Though it was made this morning, so it is still a little bit too soft. But it's um, so delicious. Yeah, a little bit of granola on top of that mm. would be fantastic too. But that's you've got delicious. like a lot. You've got a lot of people who are doing a lot more cooking at home now. I think yeah. that's something that's come about from last year. How important is it for good produce and to get good Aussie produce? Mm. Yeah. Look, we. Uh, <laughs> It, it's it's struggling a little bit at the moment because you know we have incredible produce here, but we also mm. um, have this massive staff shortage. So you know people mm. aren't picking all the produce from up in Queensland and wherever else. So we have seen prices actually go up a little bit, which is a bit sad. But look, we are a very blessed nation when it comes to you know incredible produce. Um, you know um, it's a big issue trying to get people into um, you know obviously visas are an issue yep. at the moment mm. through not just the, the farms for us eating but also through hospitality as yeah. you yep. know firsthand. Yep. yep look we are we are restricted at the moment on when we can open because we're actually still got uh, massive mm. staff shortages. Mm. So yeah. we're still under restrictions in certain venues, like Opera Bar and Barangaroo House, we're still only at about 60%. And are those conversations taking place? Do you think that there is a plan from our government to sort of to fix this? I hope so, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Um, the problem is we need people to come in from overseas. Mm. Um, and, you know, how do they get here? And then how do we quarantine them? Um, but, you know, we're, we're fighting as much as we possibly can to sort of, you know, open that up. And favourite guest ever on the show? 
You will be. Hey. Oh. hey. <laughs> oh, what? What did they come oh. from? There you go. Huh? They're actually from the, for the next segment. <laughs> well, I just knew that I was going to get a bit of a roasting because they, you oh, haven't been wow. on yet. So, you know, best for last and your birthday last week as... as uh, yeah, it was because it was your birthday yeah. too. Um, so happy oh, birthday. Yeah. What a oh, suck. Oh, thank you. What a suck. But it worked. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it was so easy like that. It doesn't take much. <laughs> no, it doesn't, as it would seem. Hey, Matt, great to see you. Um, and if you want to watch more episodes of Kitchen Tales on Matt's YouTube channel, head to youtube.com forward slash slash uh, Chef Matt Moran and uh, watch all of us in our glory. And also thank you for supporting my brother in Mundlet. It's, uh, it's a really Pleasure wonderful buddy. thing for you to do.